This is the pure definition of I've never been around a pretty woman in my life, bro. You are the dude that's scaring the hoes away, for sure. You scaring the females away. You scaring them away. If we was on a two-man, bro, her friend and her would have left. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Triple F Stacks, checking in once again. Yes, sir. Flex for the folks. Flex for the folks. And I'm back with another video, man. Make sure y'all like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're a returning viewer and you still haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button before I get on your big. I eat macaroni with no cheese. Better get your big fruit, no loop. Uh, I'm on your big cereal box, uh, no tag, uh, us bajines, no USPA. Polo, three horse wearing. Uh, better get your big turtleneck wearing when you have no neck. Uh, dry scalp, no itchiness. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Y'all know I just came in here to talk with y'all, man. I just came to talk with y'all, man. I just came to talk with y'all, man. I just came to talk with you, man. Stop taking it so personal. You, oh, you want me to get deep in my bag, huh? Boy, you eat pickles. No deal. Uh, boy, boy, oh, oh, you, you want some too? You want some too? Angel hair, no pasta. You know what? Let me stop. Let me go ahead and proceed with the video, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting on y'all too easy, man. I'm getting on y'all too easy, bro. It's too easy for me. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. You look like Cheddar Box Bob, boy. Yeah. Girl, you got La Cienega feet. Stop playing with me. See, look. Let me, let me stop, bro. Let me stop. Let me chill. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Appreciate all the returning viewers, all the new viewers. Appreciate the old haters, the new haters, whoever you are. I just appreciate you taking the time to, to check out my platform, bro. I really do from the bottom of my heart. It means everything to me, bro. I promise y'all. Whatever y'all coming here to do, man, I just appreciate y'all for stopping by, for giving me the opportunity, man. Other than that, hope y'all having a wonderful, blessed day. Hit that push notification so you know when I'm dropping another video. And yeah, man, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into this video, man. So today, I will be discussing fumbling a baddie at its finest. All right, man, so y'all already know what time it is. If you're a returning viewer, you already know what time it is. But if you're a new viewer, I'm going to show y'all the video that I'm referring to. We're going to watch it, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my two cents. Well, yeah, you find as hell. Let me see you do this. Ooh, he make it clap. <laughs> <laughs> Let me chill. I'm oh, he's tweaking. <laughs> you tweaking. You find yourself, you don't me. Huh? Because I told you to do a 360 on tweaking? No, it was the lab. And then what's this right here? <laughs> yeah, it's like white. My bad. I've probably been licking my lips. I ain't got no Carmax on. Oh, man. The internet is undefeated, bro, and it will stay undefeated, bro. Niggas never fail. They never fail to show up and show out when that camera is on their face. Oh, he make it clout. <laughs> <laughs> Let me chill. I believe this is really him. Now we can all, I know it's gonna be somebody in the comments that's gonna be like, oh, this is fake. Uh I don't care if you believe it's fake. To me, that's genuine. Bro is not that good of an actor. If he is, kudos to this man. Now look, bro, I'ma just, I'ma just keep it funky, right? I'ma just keep it real, I'ma keep it fresh. All right, you seem like a, a good dude, you seem like you're nice, bro. You a little throwed off a little bit. I can tell just by how you, you know what I'm saying, you going about it in your mannerisms. Like, bro, first of all, are you okay? Like, like when you when you started out from the jump, when you was telling her to turn around, what was it that you said? But yeah, you find it. I'm see you do this. I'm see you do this. I'm see you do this. Give me a three six. Give me a little three six. I'm see you do this. Like, bro, are are you? Were you high? I'm being honest, bro. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, bro, like real talk, bro. That's concerning. You you couldn't even. It's like, are you that nervous, bro? Was like all the sweat coming down on your tongue, bro? Because you were just building up. You were that nervous, bro. Like you really haven't been here before, huh? You really have not stood in front of a baddie, bro. And you know what? I could tell you the type of dude, bro. Like I said, you seem like a good guy, but you also seem like the dude that be popping it like you be out here really pulling. Like you really be out here, you know what I'm saying, scoping the scene, getting the getting the fees, bro. Like I could tell you got that chain on, like you really feel like you a smooth nigga. Yeah. You find yourself, you don't me. 
I could see it in your eyes and the body language, bro. You really feel like you a smooth nigga, bro. Like, you felt like you was being real funny, bro. And it was funny. Just not to her. You the type of nigga scaring the hoes away, bro. Oh, he tweaking. You the type of nigga we can't bring you around the females, bro. You mess up the feng sway. The girls be like, we don't want to really hang out with y'all again because of your friend or they be like yeah y'all can hang with us but don't bring your friend though that is what's gonna happen to you my boy you gotta pick it up and do better you couldn't even say do a little 360 and then you doing all that laughing and all that <laughs> <laughs> let me see <laughs> i can't even do your laugh bro that's one of a kind of laugh. You had that W chain on, bro. So I know you was confident. I know you was feeling yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got some things working for you, bro. But it's just like, my nigga, what are you doing? My, she here to get to know you. She's here. She's doing a 360 for you, bro. And you acting like you ain't never seen a woman do a 360, bro. You giggling hard as shit, my nigga. This is the pure definition of I've never been around a pretty woman in my life, bro. You are the dude that's scaring the hoes away, for sure. You scaring the females away. You scaring them away. If we was on a two-man, bro, her friend and her would have left. I don't know if y'all seen Jersey Shore, but y'all remember that. If you watch Jersey Shore, for the people that watch Jersey Shore, bro, remember that one episode when Polly had a two-man with Mike, and this is when he started realizing that he couldn't be a two-man guy with Mike anymore because Mike was just selfish and thinking about himself and he was just, if he didn't get his way, he would just be in his own way. When they was in Miami and Polly was over there doing what he was doing with his chick and Mike was being too aggressive and he scared the female off, bro. I mean, that's what you doing, bro. You like, bro, you fumbling, bro. She gave you the 360. She was vibing with you. She was chilling. She was cool. But you over here babbling, like, you don't even know what to say. Like, you you don't even, you're, like, in utter shock. Like, is, is this really me? Is, is this not a dream? This is really me? This is really me? Hey, bro, you, you ain't never been here before, my guy? You ain't never been here before, bro? You acting like a rookie. And then that hysterical laugh of yours, bro. I know your boys be clowning on you about that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though. If you would have laughed like that around me, bro, I'd be a little concerned. But I'd also think that was funny as hell, bro. I ain't even capping to you, G. I think that was funny as hell, bro. Real talk, I think it was funny as hell. Just for the simple fact that it's like, what are you doing? You know how some people got a contagious laugh? You don't got a contagious laugh, bro. Like, I would be laughing because I'd be in shock. Like, is this nigga laughing like this? <laughs> but it's cringy, though, bro. It's cringy, though, bro. You got to do And then you doing all of this. Like, <laughs> like you picking something out your teeth while you laughing. Like, like you just... A nigga that she's just adoring so much and like you scaring her off bro she's like what are you doing she's like what you doing like what's going on with that laugh like what are you doing like what's going on with all that i'm not feeling that she literally looked at bro dead in his eye after he was laughing like that and said he was tweaking and he said i'll tweak uh. let me see <laughs> oh he's tweaking <laughs> Because I told you to do a 360 on tweaking? No, it was the lab. And then what's this right here? <laughs> yeah. I'll tweak it because I asked you to do a 360. Like, no, nah, it's because of your laugh. It's because of how you were laughing. And then you're doing all this. And then she hits you with the, you got the white stuff on your lips, bro. Like, you got to, you got to be acting like you've been here before, bro. Even if you don't. Even if you haven't, bro, have you not heard the term fake it until you make it, bro? Apply that to my fellas out there, bro. Let me give y'all a, a, a word of advice that's going to take y'all a long way. Confidence is key, my nigga. Even if you haven't been there before, you can make and convince somebody that you've done something that you've never done before, bro. As long as you're confident, bro. Confidence is everything. People can smell when you're not confident. People can sense when you're not confident. And women can definitely tell when you're nervous. Just chill, my nigga. She's just a woman. Let me chill. It's not like, you know, she's just a pretty woman, bro. It's not like, you know, you facing the final boss on a game or something, bro. It's 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 nothing to be nervous about, bro. You're not boxing in front of 20,000 people. You're not trying to hit a game time free throw in the finals. 
It's nothing to feel pressured or nervous about. If people can deal with those situations, you can deal with a woman, bro. I promise you, bro. Women are chill, bro. They are they are not. I mean, I can't speak for all women because you know some women they 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 crazy, bro. They really will fire you up. Like you would have dealt with a different type of chick, bro. She really would have got on your ass for real. Probably called you a creep, a weirdo, all types of of shit. I, I've seen it happen. But you just gotta chill, my nigga. All that extra laughing stuff you doing, if you had just, you had her in the beginning, articulate your words, bro. Say 360, don't say 360. Do a little 360, do a little 360. Like, don't act like you strung out, bro. Don't act like you off the, off the loud right now. Or like, like don't, don't do it like you on something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep it cool, bro. Keep it pee. And just chill. Treat her like you would treat anybody. Treat her like, if this is how you treat your homeboy, I mean, you might just be a full-fledged weirdo, bro. But like I said, you seem like a good guy, like a decent guy, bro. Just be yourself. Just chill. That's it. Chill. And you'll be fine, bro. You had her, bro. Like, she was she was down for to do the 360, bro. She even seemed like she was entertaining you. And then you just started being weird. You scared, you scared the chicks off. Like, we can't use you in a two-man, bro. You're not effective, bro. You're not effective, bro. You're not like that. And that's just what it is. You fumbled in the worst way, bro. Like, you fumbled in the worst way, bro. Like, all you had to do was chill and you would have had her. But you fumbled in the worst way, bro. And it's no excuses. Like, use this as a life lesson, bro. Chill. Be better. Do what you need to do. And just, and just like, come on, bro. Take a chill pill. Like, breathe. Breathe, my nigga. You don't got to do the most. You don't got to do the extra. I promise you, bro. She's just a, she's just a woman. All right? I know a lot of y'all niggas get y'all panties in a bunch because, you know, women be coming around and y'all don't know how to act. Y'all like to show out and want to wanna be over there trying to scrap and you want to be the tough guy and you want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to be the coolest guy in the room. Bro, just be yourself, bro. I promise you, it's going to win you every time. It's going to win you the girl every time, bro. Nine times out of ten, bro, a girl going to rock with you for just you being you, bro. You don't have to do the most and show out for these women, bro. I promise you, you don't. And if you do, and if they're making you do that, bro, then she's not for you. And that's just simple. So I hope that you learn a lot from this vid, bro. And you just do better next time, bro. Just calm down. Keep that laughing shit to a minimum. If you're going to be laughing like that, bro, keep it to a minimum, bro. And yeah, bro, you be fine, bro. I believe in you, bro. Let, let, let's do better next time, all right? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, bro. Let me know how y'all feeling about Buddy. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, if you made it this far in the video and you still haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate all the new subs. Appreciate the people for subbing up. Appreciate y'all for supporting me. Appreciate y'all for watching the videos, man. It means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. Um, hope y'all having a wonderful, blessed day. Make sure you sub up or I will continue to fry you in the next video, bro. That's just what it is. That's just what I'm going to do. And yeah, other than that, man, hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. And until next time, your boy Triple F Stacks is out. Peace.